Okay, so just the other day, I was performing the mix on this session here that you see in front of you here. And, um, you know, I was just working on a few tracks, not that many. But um, the thing was, I was working on my laptop, which is a total different processing situation. I had eight gigs of uh, RAM there. and But my, my iMac here, I have 16, right? So that means this computer can handle a little bit more. And we are looking at the um, the CPU here, the information here. None of these are really doing that much, as you can see. But in my laptop, I was reaching close to, well, actually, I was clipping at 100%. And I even maxed out my buffer. All right. So one of the statements I made on the, um, the live stream while mixing the session was um, I was just hoping that there was a way to freeze my tracks like I was able to do in Logic Pro. And uh, I put that question out there and um, um, a great a great viewer came on and, and commented the video and told me, hey, man, you could do the same thing. You just have to go to render, render or transfer to render audio. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty dope. You know, so um, right now I'm at about 40 percent, not even playing anything. But watch what happens when I begin to play them. And, and you can see there's quite a few, you know, plugins on each channel. Okay, so as I play, you, you can see the the CPU kind of jumps just just slight, slightly, not not too much, but you know, like I say, on my on my on my other computer, it will, I was reaching one hundred percent CPU. So in the event that that happens, I you know, let's say for instance the kick, I want to go ahead and render that down. So this is what I found that you can do. You just go to track here and transfer to render audio and there's actually a shortcut command for that uh, preserve real time state i'm gonna leave that check support retransformation to audio track with insert effects and this right here is for if you have a reverb or some type of effect like that that, that has to render you, you want to render the tail end of it um i can un uncheck this because i don't have any reverb on here but um i have guitars and things like that that, that i put delays on and i will you know recheck that all right, so we're going to go ahead and check this. Okay, so what I did was I rendered or transformed my audio to a rendered state, which is the kick drum here. All right, so... Going this process is, is really good for even working with other people, say like you want to send this session to someone else that's using Studio One and you don't necessarily want to tamper with, you don't, you don't want to bother with bouncing it down as, you know, uh, a final file where you can't go back and do any editing, you know, say you want to change up on the reverb or on the compression or EQ settings or whatnot. Well, the reason why you would render this is because everybody you collaborate with does not have the same plugins. And so you can actually freeze your track. This is Studio One's way of freezing a track and they can hear the people you're working with can hear what the audio should sound like without them even even owning what you have which is pretty cool and once you get the session back you can always recall the uh the, the channel at, you know that's pretty cool I, I was i was amazed by that so all you all you do here at this point is you you right click on the the, the channel and then you say transform to real time audio and all of your settings will recall as 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 before this is freaking nuts and this is what saves you cpu because again this is a uh, studio one's way of freezing the track so that means all of your all of your your your, your plugins and things will be had in the background unresponsive you know what i'm saying they are they are at a free state they're not doing anything they're not pulling from the cpu this is freaking awesome all right i hope you guys learned something remember Music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. This is your boy, Ella from ksound.com. And um, until next time, I'll see y'all.